Hi everyone, this is Sumit K. In this video, we are going to see how you can seamlessly join an Amazon EC2 instance, uh, Linux instance to your AWS managed Microsoft AD Active Directory. In my last video, we have covered how to create AWS standard Active Directory uh, into your AWS uh, using the AWS console and how we can uh, uh, join our Windows instance uh, to your domain. So we have already seen that, right? So to to connect your uh, Linux instance to your domain join, uh, you need to follow some steps, and we want to make it uh, with some automation uh, automation steps. Uh, either you can you can do it manually, or you can go with the uh, with the automation steps. So, so we will see this uh, in this demo. Uh, let's first understand our infrastructure first. So I have a directory services, uh, uh, which is a Microsoft AD and that my domain name is contactus.com and uh, this is currently active. So if you look at this uh, <clears throat> directory service, I have this TNS server and this is the VPC and the subnets and the and the uh, uh, this availability zones I have. And to manage this Active Directory, uh, the Microsoft, uh, the uh, AWS Manage AD, I already created a Windows instance, uh, which is an AD Windows management instance, uh, where I I have installed my R site tools to connect my Active Directory users and computers. So here you will see the by default you'll get your admin account, and I have created some of the users uh, users account. Okay, so um, how you can you know use or uh, connect your Linux uh, to this um, AD uh, to this AD domain to to do this? Uh, firstly, um, to do how you can seamlessly. Uh, you know domain join your instance uh, Linux instance using the service account so you can seamlessly join Linux computers to your AWS managed Microsoft AD and uh, you must use a user account with a create computer account permission to join your machines to, to the domain although the member of the AWS delegated uh, administrator or the other groups might have a sufficient privilege to join your computer to the domain but uh, AWS do not recommend using this right so as a best practice AWS recommend that you use a service account that has a minimum privilege necessary to join the computers to the domain and the same we are going to uh, perform here so to do that first of all let's just create a group first because uh, we will use the group so this group uh, I have already created this group a simple group uh, global and the group type is security Linux connector group and I'm going to uh, give some delegations on the computers right because this is the containers where all your compute or your instance are, are visible when they domain join right so it must have the uh, delegation uh, delegation uh, for from this group right so we'll we will add this group so here uh, just select your group my group name is Linux Con Linux Connect uh, Group. So you can select it and OK. <clears throat> Next, uh, create a custom task to delegate. And only here you need to select the computer objects and just select the create selected object in this folder and delete selected object in this folder. And here you need to give a permission and read and write and go to Next. And just review your uh, delegation wizard so here you can see that this is the group and the permission is having the uh, read write and on the following objects computer right <coughs> so i have the delegation is completed now we are going to create a service account so you can create a service account by creating a user so i'm going to see the linux uh, service linux service account uh, Linux service account and uh, sorry this is going to be just make it um, Linux SA account I think it's going to be Linux SA account here also I'm going to make it SA account and click on next and I'm not going to change the password for this demo
click on next and finish it so here um, uh, your use your, your service account is also created now add the service account to this group because because i already uh, delegated a permission to this to this particular group right so i can add um, n, n number of my service account here whatever service account i want to add so i will make it linux um, sa right so Oh, sorry uh, my group right so i'm adding users to the group right so i need to select the group right so so far so good right so our delegation service account and all these groups are completed now go back to your uh, aws console and in the second step that you need to do is to create your um create your service account uh, sorry create your secrets so how you can do that go to secrets manager so this is i already did it let, let me just create a new one click on the other type and here i am going to see select uh, the key name is going to be username and the and the username is going to be here uh, service account name so what was my service account name let me just copy it my notepad i'm just copying it my notepad this is my user and uh, this is my group All right so i'm gonna make it this is my username and also i'm going to select the password as well and the password i'm not going to show you let me just put my password because it is a plain text okay so now i put my password and clicked on next so here you need to um, copy this um, uh the your directory id basically enter a secret name that um, that includes your directory id using this prompt this using this format so this is the format if you don't know from where i am i mean um, uh, referring this one so you can just just a second so basically i have this uh, aws official document where i am referring all these steps so here is the here is the uh, document official document that you can follow and uh, whatever steps that we have performed for our service account and delegation you can do it with these steps as well i mean creating your service account and all this but this script was not working for me so i i make it manually and then i am creating my secrets right here so i'll put this uh, document link in the in uh, in the uh, video video description so you can find the reference right so here uh, this is the format that you need to follow so aws directory service and this is your directory name so directory uh, name is this this is your directory name just copy it and replace it with their uh, directory id uh, description is optional you can just click on next and click on next and click store it um what happened okay so it says uh, the uh, seamless domain join already okay so oh, it is already actually it is already there i have already created it so let's just cancel it uh, otherwise the uh, else the option is almost same so you can see that i already have this uh, uh, I already have this secret so you can just refer, refer it as well right so we'll use the, the existing one uh, so you you so you get an idea right how to how to create the secrets right with your service uh, service account and service account password right now the third step is um, you need to create some IAM policy right so how do you create your IAM policy you just go to your IAM because um, create um, you you need to create a required IAM policy and role uh, for your secrets, right? To actually um, uh, work with your EC2 instance. So 
uh, let's go to your oh sorry you need to go to IEM actually not IEM anti center go to IEM so basically we are creating this custom policy that allow the read only access to your secrets uh, secrets manager uh, which seem seamless uh, uh, domain join secret and to create a new Linux EC2 uh, domain join IAM role, right? So how do you do that? Let's first create a policy. So I think I have already created a policy. So I'm gonna just uh, delete it. Um, let me delete. Let me just delete this one. I'm creating a new policy. So here I need to choose the secret, secret manager, right? And here I'm going to choose uh, uh, describe secret and get secret value. And uh, the resource, like so, resource I uh, need a specific resource. So you need to you need to go to your secret manager and just put the ARN. So here from here you can put the ARN, right? Just copy this. Uh, copy the ARN of your secret manager and and put it here in the resource ARN and it'll automatically uh, pop up your resource son and resource secret right so add the add the ARN and next and here you can um, you can make it uh, seamless um, domain join policy right you can you can put whatever name you want to and create a policy now now you need to create a role so i already have a role uh, which i'll show you here uh, this is my role demo directory role so in demo directory role there are um, few per permissions that you need to grant um, the first is uh, the first is um, Amazon managed, um, uh, sorry, Amazon SSM directory service access and Amazon SSM managed instance core. And apart from this, you need to also add a attached policy, which we have just created our policy with the name seamless something. Yeah, with this name and add the permission. So make sure that whatever role that you will create, you have these two, um, two policies, I mean two to uh, built-in permission and one year custom permission right so that's it i think all the prerequisites are done and and yeah all things done right now so so far whatever we have what what we have done uh, basically we have created uh, we have created a service account service account in AD and delegated permission right so that was my my first step then secondly I created a secret created secrets and and refer referred my uh, service account account username and password right and thirdly uh, we created a custom policy um, just a second we created a um, just a second uh, we i think we have been i think i'm lost it yeah we created a custom policy for our secret manager for our secret uh, store right secret store and then created a role and attach custom and built-in policy built-in permission or policy Right, so these four steps are done. All these prerequisites are done. And now we are, what we are going to do, uh, we are going to create an instance um, here and we'll see if my EC2 instance will automatically join to this domain or not, right? The, I'm talking about the Linux EC2 instance, right? 
so and behind the scene whenever when i select my ec2 instance uh, you uh, the, the that roles and the domain joining profile um, the your instance profile and your directory service will work together uh, behind the scene and your instance will be joined to your domain so let's see how it goes so make sure you have the latest SSM agent uh, to be installed on your uh, Amazon Linux instance. By default, it comes with the Linux, uh, the SSM agent um, higher than 2.12 uh, more than that or, or equivalent is, is required, right? So I'm going to create a demo instance. Demo um, Linux instance. I'm creating the Amazon, Amazon Linux instance. PPC, PPC2, and uh, so this part is done. Now here is very important. You you need to select your domain join directory, right? Because I'm going to automate it, right? So instead of manually, just need to select your domain, which is this is my domain directory, and this is very important, right? Whatever we have created a role and you know policies, we have created a role so you need to select your instance uh, iem instance profile so this is the this is the role that has all the permissions right so i think all done if everything uh perfectly okay then it should be it should allow you to log in as a domain user So let's just wait for a couple of minutes. Same instance. Just running. Let's see the running only. Okay, so how to connect to this instance using your domain name? It's a um, you can use this command ssh hyphen l and your uh, domain user ID and uh, your domain at the rate your domain along with your um, instance ID instance IP right so let's see yeah here you can see that I'm trying to SSH to my uh, to my instance um, to my Linux instance which has this public IT 54 193.125.75 using my domain username right so you can see that it is it is i think it is connecting so let's see 